Charles Galloway heard footsteps echoing in the darkness and twisted his head towards their source. But the straps that tied him tightly to the cold stone slab proved too restrictive. A prickly sweat consumed his naked body as he imagined what horrors might lie in store. He deserved this, he knew that. He'd been a very bad man. The footsteps grew closer and the looming form of his captor stopped at his feet. A torch was lifted and the hard light hit his eyes like daggers. He clamped them tight and tried to turn away but it was impossible. This was the ultimate humiliation. Galloway was a man accustomed to power. Men were made and destroyed by his command, lived or died at his word. Now he couldn't even turn his head. He'd made countless enemies who surely dreamt of seeing him so degraded, but he'd never believed they'd have their wish. Not while he controlled so much. He was a man with an empire, but right here, right now, that meant nothing. He was at the mercy of this figure in the darkness, the keeper of this grim, unforgiving dungeon. For that's what it was, before the torchlight pierced his vision, he'd seen in the half-light the shapes of equipment around him, furnishings designed by twisted minds for one purpose only. He didn't doubt that he'd be experiencing many of them first-hand, before his time here was done, and his heart pounded at the prospect. Please, he croaked, his throat bone dry from fear. Don't hurt me! His captor simply laughed. But that's why I'm here. It would be a wasted journey if you didn't suffer. The torch went down. Galloway's eyes had grown accustomed to the penetrating light and could see nothing without it but the blackest black. This, he knew, was part of the torture, denying him any possible clue to his fate, keeping him waiting, guessing, letting his fear build and build. That alone was inhumanly cruel. 